Christmas Eve in Gotham City. Is it our imagination, or is the city more peaceful than usual? Has the magic of Christmas silenced the screaming sirens, the whine of bullets, the thousand frightening voices of terror in the city at night? We find Batman and Robin wondering about the same thing as we join them. You know, Robin, it's been a pleasure just relaxing at home for a change. Yeah, no special calls for help from the police or anybody. And I kind of like it for a change, too. The only thing on our schedule for tonight is the Christmas party at the Southside Mission down on Skid Row. And come to think of it, uh, we better get going. Okay. I'll get it. Hello? Hello. Is this Batman? Yes. I have a singing telegram for you. How nice. Sing away. I wish you a deadly Christmas. I wish you a deadly Christmas. I wish you a deadly Christmas and no more New Year's. Who is this? I can assure you, friend, if you go out tonight, you won't live long enough to find out. What was that all about? No, oh, nothing. Just some creep crawling under the woodwork. Come on, uh, let's get to the party. I don't want to be late. And as they make their way through the shadowy streets of the city... Don't turn around, Robin, but I think someone's following us. How do we handle it? When we reach the corner just ahead, slip around fast and we'll grab him when he comes by. Ready? Now. He's coming closer. Okay. Now. Gotcha. <coughs> oh, uh, I'm so sorry, madam. I thought... Oh, dear you. I'm going to call the police. Help! She's too hysterical to listen to explanations. We, we better get out of here fast. Are you sure someone was following us? Well, I thought. If I wasn't sure then, I am now. Over here, quick. In this doorway. Did you see where the shots came from? Right across the streets. We're trapped. Hey, Batman. Why don't you just walk out nice and easy like when your little friend and get this over with? <laughs> Come on with an M3 volley. Fa la 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 la. Tis the reason I'm so jolly. Fa la 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 la. Now I know who that is. It's Rudy Snow, alias Rudolph the Red Nosed Hitman. Hey, Rudy. Oh, you remember me, eh? How about a deal, Rudy? You let us go, and I'll let you go. Let me go? <laughs> That's very funny, but you're just wasting time, Batman. What do we do? Your bluff didn't work. It was no bluff. Watch this. The batarang, of course. It can go around corners. Works like a boomerang. Here she goes. Oh! Bullseye! There you are, Captain. It's Rudolph, the red-nosed hitman. Must be wanted in a dozen states. And you got him. See you later. Hey, wait a minute. Any other charges besides assault with intent to murder and illegal possession of a deadly weapon? Yes. Charge him with disturbing the peace on Christmas Eve. Don't you think it would be better to go the rest of the way by Batmobile? Oh, I don't think so. With Rudy in jail, we shouldn't have any more trouble. And it's such a nice, clear night for walking. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Da 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 dee do da 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 da. He must be drunk, getting right at us, and his light shining right in our eyes. Quick, use the bed ropes. Flinging their ropes so that they catch onto a ledge two stories up on the building behind them, the two clamber up out of harm's way as the killer car, driving right up on the sidewalk, goes out of control. <laughs> Phew, what a mess. Do you recognize either of those two characters? Do I ever. This one, the driver, is Maxie the Minstrel Man, bouncer at a sleazy go-go joint downtown. What a name. Fancied himself a song and dance man, but soon discovered his only talent was beating up helpless drunks. Any other one? Look, he's dressed in a Santa Claus suit. It's Sammy, the South Side Santa. For years, he's been a fixture in the Christmas scene down there. I don't get it. He's been involved in petty larceny, but never anything like this. Look, he's still alive, trying to say something. You're right. Sammy, it's me, Batman. Can I do anything for you? No, no. Just listen. Just listen. 
I didn't want to be in on this. He made me. Who, Sammy? Who made you? I could never kill. He's gone. Poor Sammy. Really as gentle a man as you'd ever meet. Well, one thing is for sure, someone is out to get us. And whoever it is knew exactly when we went out tonight and where we were going. Someone at the Southside Mission? Yeah, the Southside Mission. After we call the police to clean up here, we're going to take a good look at that place. Seems to me there's more going on down there than a Christmas party for the down and out. In the Southside Mission, run and financed almost exclusively through the efforts of Dr. Jonathan Carroll, a hundred of the less fortunate of Gotham City are enjoying a delicious turkey dinner with all the trimmings. God bless old Dr. John. This is the first good meal I've had in a month. I don't know what we do down here without him. When I broke me arm a month ago, he fixed it up and wouldn't charge me a cent. Look, he's getting up on the stage. He's going to speak. Hooray for Dr. John. Yay, hooray. <laughs> Thank you, friends. I hope you're enjoying the meal. And don't be afraid to ask for second. <laughs> now, don't worry. I'm not going to bore you with any speeches. I wish we could have had some musical entertainment tonight. But instead... Batman and Robin, just in time. Come in, come in. That's Dr. Carroll. He runs the place, and he's the one who invited us down here. You think he may be the one that... Awfully hard to believe, but let's play it straight. Well, Dr. John, nice to see you, and nice to be here. Quite an affair you've put together here. Oh, I had lots of help from my friends out there, <laughs> like Helen and William and Mrs. McCready there at the front table. Hi, Mrs. Mack, and especially Rodney Dugood. Rodney Dugood? Yes, Rodney's a regular here and practically my right-hand man. He's right over... Oh, not there. Must have stepped out for a bit. He'll probably be right back. But Rodney Dugood at that moment is up to no good. In his room in a dingy lodging house right across the street from the mission, we see a very different man from the gentle derelict befriended by Dr. John. Everything I tried failed. My warning not to go out didn't frighten him away. Two attempts to eliminate him were bungled. This time we will not fail. You got it straight now. When you hear the singing, that's when you make your entrance. Only one thing, boss. If you goes back in there, ain't Batman gonna recognize you and, and blow the whole thing? Don't worry. I doubt if even the brilliant Batman will be able to tell that Dr. John's most successful example of rehabilitation, Rodney Duguid, and escaped convict Rodney Crawfield are one and the same person. Meanwhile, back at the mission... My friend, I'm sure you all know Batman and his young friend, Robin. Batman, won't you say a few words? Okay, but just as few as I possibly can. <laughs> I am delighted to be here and see all of you. And I promise you and Dr. John, I'll always be a friend of the Southside Mission. Thank you. Ah, oh, Rodney, there you are. Come up and meet Batman. It's an honor to shake your hand, sir. Glad to meet you, Rodney. Dr. John's told me a lot about you. Thank you. Uh, can I get you something from the kitchen? Some cake? Uh, perhaps some coffee? Sounds good to me. Something strangely familiar about this guy. And Dr. John, why not start the carol singing? I think you'll enjoy it, Batman. Somehow it seems to take on a special meaning down here. I'll be right back. Good idea. See what I mean, Batman? He's such a good man. Yeah, I guess so. What did Rodney mean by special meaning? I wonder. How about it, everybody? Feel like singing? Yeah! yeah. Then let us go! <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. <laughs> Very good. Now, how about... Silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and 
and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Yeah, sleep in heavenly peace, Batman. of the super athlete that he is, Batman leaps to a chandelier hanging from the ceiling above the tables and swings like a trapeze artist the whole length of the hall, landing on top of a very surprised would-be assassin. <sighs> that makes three down tonight. Good going, Batman. Beside himself in rage, an infuriated Roger Crawfield witnesses the failure of his third attempt on the life of Batman. Fools! Incompetent fools! All of them! I should have known. If you want a job done right, do it yourself. Throwing all caution to the winds, he grabs a rifle hidden in the kitchen, rushes to the stage and aims at Batman, who is so busily engaged in tying up a dazed and befuddled fingers that he doesn't see the rifle aimed at his back. Your luck has run out this time, Batman! Rodney, no! Just as Rodney pulls the trigger, Dr. John pushes the rifle barrel up and the shot goes harmlessly into the seat. You old fool! I should have got rid of you a long time ago. See how you like this rifle barrel over your head. Oh. And now I'm getting out of this crummy joint once and for all. Running out the back door, he races up the fire escape to the roof with Batman close on his heels. You might as well give up, Rodney. I remember you now, and I'll put you behind bars again, just the way I did six years ago. Oh, no, you won't, Bird Brain. <laughs> now, missed again, Rodney. Ready or not, here I come. And then begins a wild chase across the rooftops of Gotham City. The frenzied efforts of the criminal to escape, making him an even match for the super smooth running machine we know as Batman. Maybe you can hitch a ride with Santa Claus, Rodney. He'll be coming any minute now. This'll shut you up, smart mouth. You're running out of bullets, Rodney, and looks like you're running out of space, too. Look ahead! To his horror, Rodney sees that the rooftop of the next building is over 30 feet away. Give it up, Rodney. I've got you trapped. Oh, no, you haven't. And Rodney races forward in a desperate leap for freedom. Rodney! Don't! It is an hour later at the mission. The police and all the guests have gone. How do you feel now, Dr. John? Fortunately, it was a glancing blow, so I'll be all right. But the shock of learning about Rodney... Yeah, imagine using the mission as a recruiting center and headquarters for his gang of crooks. That's why he didn't want me to reach here alive. And he would have succeeded if it hadn't been for you, Dr. John. And if it hadn't been for you and Robin, who knows what would have happened to me in the Southside mission? How can I ever... Listen, the bells. Midnight. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, Batman, Robin. And Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Dr. John.